For today's instructional video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these connectors. To connect up your 1.2 GHz video transmitter to your $10 FPV cam. You only need three connectors. You need the JST connector, a female one, a servo lead, and the connector that comes with the video transmitter. So you have to strip all, all the wires, so I already did it for the servo lead for the JST connector and for the video transmitter I'm going to remove the the white audio cable because we're not using audio and then I'm going to strip the cables right here to remove our white audio connector we're just going to get our blade and push this up and just pull out the white cable and push it back down now on the other side we're going to cut the wires but we're going to leave some space in case you want to use this for another project so let's get and just cut um, around here the last thing left to do is just join all the wires so before I start, I'm just going to get a large heat shrink and put all these three wires in the heat shrink and move it all the way back. And now get three smaller heat shrinks and put them one in each wire. And now let's just join them. So we're going to get our black wires and just twist them up together. Then we join our red wires. So this one, this one. And the last one is the yellow one. So to summarize this up, just connect all the reds together, all the blacks together, and the white one with the yellow one. And then to keep them in place, we're just going to use some hot glue. And now let's just add the heat shrink. So we're going to go like this. And now let's add the last and final heat shrink. Alright, now let's test it out. I mounted a $10 FPV cam right here. And I have my 1.2 GHz video transmitter. So I'm going to connect it up like this, connect up the camera, black to black, red to red, and white to white, and connect up the battery. There we go, we have signal. Alright, so one thing that I would have done differently is I would have used a servo, servo extension instead of a servo lead. So I would have cut off right here and used the, the extension so I don't have to use one of these to connect up the, the camera to the wire, to the connector. That's pretty much it for today's video. So if you want to see last week's instructional video where I showed you how to make the $10 FPV cam that we used in today's video, just click the box in the lower left corner. If you want to watch all the coming videos and everything else, all you have to do is click that button down there and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.